I am Noah Olson, and we are in Miami, Florida. I'm a nine-time CrossFit Games athlete. This will hopefully be my 10th consecutive year competing individually at the CrossFit Games, and potentially my final. When I was making the decision on whether or not this 10th season would be my last individual and what I'd be doing next, there were a lot of emotions that I had to sort through and it was pretty difficult, to be honest. I want to do the best that I can. I would love to win the CrossFit Games. That's all I've been pursuing for the last 10 years. But I really want to do my best not to let that dictate what my memories of this final season are. As much as I am going to give it everything I've got, I also want to make sure that I enjoy it. I think I'm sad and excited, yeah. right? Like, it's been 10 years of him competing, but it's been 10 years of me watching. So it's kind of like a, it's bittersweet, right? But I think we'll miss it. Yeah, yeah I think so. Off we go. Quick commute to the office. I've been training at Peak 360 in Miami since I started CrossFit, so for the last 13 years. Now that I'm 31 years old, I don't think I'm trending down yet, but I don't know that there's a whole lot of room for me to keep growing, although in the last few months I've PR'd a couple benchmark workouts, a couple weighted things. I am still getting better, even though it feels hard to believe. My training has kind of gone from a lot of CrossFit that I was enjoying to doing the tough stuff that I needed to, to now going a little bit back towards the goal of this season being to enjoy it. I really just want to enjoy training as much as I can while also still doing the things that I need to do to compete at the highest level. When I came into CrossFit, my strength was probably my biggest weakness. I recognized quickly that I needed to put on a good bit of weight in order to get bigger and stronger to be able to handle the loads necessary to compete if that was something that I wanted to pursue. A lot of that obviously is dictated by my nutrition. What's up, dude? I do have to eat a good amount to fuel the amount of training that we do. I know that it's for a purpose, and so being able to have the trifecta meals that are enjoyable to eat makes that a little bit easier. To be a high-level CrossFit Games athlete, it takes a lot of sacrifice. I'm tempted to say it takes sacrificing everything. I think that's something that I was never really able to do, and I've felt a bit torn about that, but I tried the best that I could to go all in and compete to the best of my ability, but also to live a life that felt a little bit more balanced and was fair to the people that were in my life. Stay with it. Nine. Don't leave me yet. Ten. Let's go, fellas. Eleven. I don't want to feel or seem soft. Like I wasn't willing to do what it took to try to win. You know, I definitely was willing to do the hard work. There could have been more along the way that may have helped my spot on the leaderboard, but in my character and in my heart, it feels better not to have to neglect the people that I love. That's important to me. To win the games would be an amazing thing to look back on and say that I accomplished. But I think having a legacy of being someone that had a positive impact is really special. I would hope that that side of me is more impactful than whatever my placement was.